Hello everyone, welcome to this uh, Simple Inventory 2 showcase video to celebrate its release a few days ago. So, we're going to jump into the showcase scene and show you what's new. So, in the project view we'll have a sample scene like this to showcase the inventory's capabilities. We'll go up. The new feature of the first one is you can see the descriptions of items before you look at them. This can be disabled should you choose. Pick it up and equip items. You can very easily integrate your own systems. This entire showcase game probably took me about an hour to do, Re really not that long. And with scripts that don't mess with the asset packs code whatsoever. And the biggest new feature that the asset pack provides I would say is the event system. Here in the showcase scene we're going to use the event system to spawn new ammo when we reload. It does this by calling a destruction event to the ammo creator for rifle ammo and it says hey I've destroyed this much ammo and it'll say okay we'll create this then and you can use it. We've got our ammo back. And obviously the, these events can be used for much more than that. The equip items event is passed through to my showcase code to equip guns. Like literally I don't have to go into my asset pack whatsoever and fiddle with anything in the code. It's all codeless. And as with the previous system you can support multiple grids but these are much easier to integrate and add and remove. You can bind items to grids themselves now, pick them up, equip them, use them and it creates your grid. Another returning feature is item rotation. It's kind of a bad example to rotate a cube but rotating this easily rotate it around. The, ascent, the dragging position has also been revamped so rather than using the item position uses the mouse. So remember the old system was a bit scuffed that way and then if your grid has enough spaces but it needs to rotate it will do that automatically for you. And here's the stackable items in action again. As you can see I've got four of these little boxes. I've got eight, I've got twelve, I've got sixteen. So obviously you've reached a max stack of twelve. You can easily configure this. Very simple to do. And then you can either drop, split, and bring them back together. And the inventory pack also comes with um, some more, more documentation than the previous one, highlighting all the things you need to know about the asset pack and how to edit them and create your own games with them. And that about sums up this video I'd say. There's still a lot more features that I haven't gone through, which you can see if you get the asset pack yourself. It's $14 on the Unity Asset Store, or if you have previously bought the first asset pack you can get you can upgrade to it for simply six dollars uh, thank you for watching i hope you get as much use out of so simple inventory 2 as i have